So the next view is the pivot view. This is going to feel a lot like pivot tables in Excel, if you're familiar with those. It's all about slicing and dicing a population of data. It's super useful. And you can actually drop these into spreadsheets to then use them later on for something a little bit more complex, like a dashboard. So let's get into it. So here we are once again in the Odoo demo database. We're going to go ahead and go into sales because we have a lot of data in there that we can work with. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this guy. Don't need that here. And we're going to look up here at our available views. So we got lists, Kanban, calendar, and over here is pivot. So we're going to go ahead and click into pivot. Now that we're in here, we can see that we're already kind of slicing and dicing some data. So over here, it looks like we're grouping by order date and specifically the month of the order date. And we're not really grouping by anything in the columns. Our measures, let's see. Currently we're going by the total of the sale and we can certainly add more if we want to here. So let's go ahead and drop these filters off because the filters that we talked about in list view still apply here. We can still use them here. And actually you'll find that the group buys work in much the same way here too. So let's go ahead and change this up just a little bit. We're going to click the minus sign that removes our grouping here. And we're going to press the plus again. So first we want to see, okay, how many sales do we have by customer? We're going to bring that in. Okay, we've got this grouped here. And then we're going to go ahead and say, I want the grouping for order date along the top. And we're going to say, let's go by month, just because we don't need to go down to the day level. So we've got our first level here, but what if we want to go just a bit deeper? Well, we can click the plus here and we can say, well, who's the salesperson on each of these orders? Okay, let's see. So we've got Mark Demo. I'm going to go ahead and expand all so that we can see the rest here. Okay, and now we can see pretty quickly, okay, for Deco Addict, we've got about 40,000 in sales. Part of that was with Odubot, so they likely came in through our e-commerce store. And part of that was by Mitchell Admin. It's pretty cool. So we can lay this out. The nice thing too is you can see how this number becomes green. Well, if we want a little bit more detail on this, I can go ahead and click into it. And this will give me all the data that makes that up, which is very much like Excel. Jumping back into this. So we may want to be able to share this view with others and we may be able to want to see it regularly ourselves. We can actually go in and save this current search. So we're gonna say, sales by month by customer. Okay, if we save that, what we can do is get rid of this, go back out to list view. Okay, we're gonna refresh just to show that this actually works. And we can come back in and go to our favorites and say sales by month by customer. And it brings us back to this very nicely. So now you've seen the basics of how to interact with this guy. Okay, but if we want to go into Studio, there's a little bit more that we can do here. So inside Studio, there's really not quite as much that we can do here compared to List View or Form View, which allow us to add fields, add groups, different things like that. But we can still do quite a bit here. So we can come in and say, okay, first off, do I want people to be able to drill down like we showed you you can do? Or do I want to be able to say, you know, order date is my default column here. Real grouping is customer first, followed up by a salesperson next. Okay. And then what measures do I want here? Do I want the total of sales order? Do I want the count? Do I want something else in here? Um, really, there's a lot that I can do here. Hopping back out, there's one more piece of functionality that I want to show you. So. Odoo is expanding as best they can the sheets functionality, which is like a spreadsheet. So if we want access to this data, specifically these data points, we can go ahead and insert this into a spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do it into a blank spreadsheet and confirm that. It's going to take a second to reload us real quick here. But now I have this nice data set that will refresh and grow as I need it to. So we're going to go ahead and rename this pivot one. And then we're going to go ahead and look at the formulas here. Okay. So you see this formula up here, it allows us to say, okay, I want amount total as a measure. Uh, partner ID is 10, which is deco addicts ID. The date of the order is going to be this. 
So if you're familiar with Excel, we can go ahead and we can actually copy this, put this formula somewhere else and still reference the data that is in pivot table one. Okay. It's pretty powerful. You can actually do quite a bit with it. So go ahead and play with that. So there you have it. There's the pivot view in a nutshell. I promise later on, I will go into dashboarding a bit more because I know with sheets and dashboards, there's much more that you can do with pivots that you may want to get into. And so we will later on. Thanks.